Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a new video on this channel. So in today's video guys, I'm going to be showing you how to become a millionaire in the new Greenville update. So then you guys can own cars like the one here. And uh, yeah, basically stop being broke and uh, become rich. Alright, so for the first one here, we have joining the criminal team and basically robbing different stores around the map. So in the new Greenville update, the criminal team was revamped. And with this revamp, they actually give people the ability to rob different stores around the map. From my knowledge, you can't rob every single single store however there are still a large majority of places that you can rob so just for the purpose of this video i'm going to be going over to culver's right here and i'm going to be showing you guys how to rob this place and get money so basically all you have to do is once you've equipped the criminal team then you basically just run into the store over here all right my bad guys i had to rejoin the game here because for some reason the team didn't work on my last server but basically you just want to walk up to the cash register here and click e to break the register and then it will come up with a thing saying press space uh and it should say space spam space in my opinion because if you press it it just does that so basically you just want to spam the space bar and then it will actually break the register somehow i screwed up so uh let's just wait for that cooldown to go down all right let's try this again so we just want to spam the space bar here until it goes up to the top of the thing then uh it will actually open up with all this cash then you just hold e to grab the cash right here it takes a bit uh so then law enforcement actually even has a chance of catching you but then basically as you guys can see the payout will pop up in the corner here and it does take a while for the uh payout to actually go through and you also become wanted for a certain amount of time too so police can arrest you in this time and then you can also do it for other cash registers too currently the payout on this isn't too huge however i'm assuming that in the future and for future updates i'll probably increase the payout i'm assuming for now they just didn't make it too high because you know they actually wanted to see how it would work for people and whatnot and how people would utilize it and they probably just want to see how much people are going to try to abuse it so but yeah i'm definitely assuming that they'll probably increase it in the future also so you can actually rob other places as well while the payout timer is going down which will help you stack up money very very quickly so for example if i go up here to bergenite real quick and go to the cash registers over here then i'll actually be able to rob this one while the countdown is going down for my last robbery and then as you guys can see once I grab the cash, what will actually happen is it will add on to the payout. Now, the only bad thing about this is that it does actually increase the time that you have to wait for to get your payout. However, usually it doesn't increase the timer by that much, so it's honestly not too bad. Plus, especially if you're just in a private server, you have no worry about this anyway since law enforcement won't be able to catch you. So, for example, right now I'm in a private server, so no matter how many places I rob within this time period, law enforcement won't be able to get me. And I'll also just rob Burger House over here as well just to show you guys how much money you can actually get so if i just go up to this cash register right here and do the exact same thing that i've done at every other place and then hold e to grab the cash right here and then as you guys can see it slightly increases that timer but it also increases my payout and once again they'll probably end up increasing the payout amount in the future as well because currently it is pretty low but i'm assuming within the next update hopefully they'll make it maybe like a thousand dollars per register especially considering how like big gv's economy is so you know in the future they might want to consider increasing it by a lot then the next one is kind of linked into this and this is actually that you can actually also rob banks for a higher payout so you can actually rob two banks on the map so the first this one is actually the credit union bank and the second one is the one that's all the way down here you can't actually see it because it's not rendered in but it's actually the fox mountain bank either one pays the exact same and goes through the exact same process and basically what you want to do is you want to actually find the bank vaults inside of the bank so for example in the credit union bank it's right here and basically this one's actually a bit different so you want to hold e to hack the vault door and then once you have hacked the vault door it will actually come up with this keypad where you essentially have to play this game right here where you have to sort of guess the numbers well you don't guess the numbers but you sort of like type in the pattern that it shows you i guess so it's a bit more difficult than the uh average robbery that you did on the last one but of course it is expected since it is a bit of a higher payout and then once you've completed that sort of keypad game then it will actually open up the door here and then you go into this little vault here where you can actually break into these safes and it will basically open up uh a thing full of money and there are only a couple sa uh, safe things on here inside of the bank vault however it's still a decent amount to get a decent amount of money for each vault you basically get paid the same amount that you would get paid from robbing a single cash 
register. However, since there is like five of these, you do get paid quite a substantial amount. In my opinion, I do wish they had more vaults everywhere since, you know, obviously in role plays and stuff as well, especially, you're probably going to be robbing these places with other people as well, which will mean that you'll probably end up getting less money. All right, guys, and now for the next one is actually arresting people, or you could say detaining people, but I just like to say arresting people. Basically, the way how you do this is by actually getting somebody to rob somewhere, and then you basically arrest them, and it will actually give you a payout. Now, this is actually a very, very effective grinding method, because even though, yeah, you can also just rob places by yourself, when doing this method, you can actually just pretty much almost just simultaneously do it as you can have two accounts running on different devices at the same time and you can essentially like rob somewhere on your alt account while also if arresting people on your main account so then this can also get you money on both accounts which really does add up over time so for example on my alt account right here i'm just going to quickly rob this cash register and do the same process and you will see that in the corner it will start saying that i'm wanted and then just for simplicity's sake since i'm in a private server i'll just bring my uh second account over here and as you guys can see once i'm over here since i'm still wanted on my second account then i can actually hold e to arrest this person right here and once they are arrested, I can either release or arrest them. So basically, once I press arrest, and as you guys can see, you'll be sent to jail for one minute, and you won't be able to escape for that whole minute. And this is actually a really cool process, since in the past, you a police officers just had to manually sort of put you in jail, and they still can do that, but this is just a more stable system. So also, so people don't abuse it and just permanently keep people in jail. And then also, you'll see that you'll actually become an inmate instead of being a criminal. Sort of like Prison Life, for those of you guys who remember that game. But yeah, so that should actually usually at least give you a sort of small payout. And yeah, so my jail time's about to end here, so once your jail time actually ends, it should just let you out of your cell without needing any assistance from a police officer. Okay, there we go. You just reset at the back of the dealership, it seems like. So yeah, that's pretty good. But yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you guys have any other suggestions on how you can make money in the new Greenville update, leave them in the comments below. And yeah, anyways, see you later, guys. And goodbye. Mm hmm.